In this lecture, we are going to complete the wiring step of the schematic design workflow. So we did the arrangement in the previous lecture, we did the associations as well. So all we've got to do now is to pick the wiring tool, this one right here, and start connecting the pins. So I'm going to start from the LED and just click right in the middle of this circle, that's the pin target, and start drawing it just clicked inside the circle moved say around here i haven't clicked yet to lock the wire in i'll go say up to around here click to lock this side of the wire and continue drawing towards the battery and i'm going to zoom in just so i can see exactly what i'm doing and click inside the pin to finish drawing that segment of the wire just a short interruption to let you know that this video is part of my comprehensive KiCad course that will teach you every aspect of creating printed circuit boards with KiCad from scratch. Go to the course page to learn more about it if you want. Find the link to the course page in the description below and treat yourself with a discount coupon for my YouTube viewers. Okay, let's continue with the video. Continue with the anode of the battery cell. So click inside the pin to start drawing, drag towards the right. I haven't clicked yet, just move the mouse up towards the switch. I can now click to lock this wire segment and move towards pin 2 of the switch and click to lock. And finish drawing. Continue on the other side of the switch, pin 1, click, draw, a straight line and click again to finish drawing and the final segment from the resistor click draw and click again to finish drawing and we're done it's quick only a few segments of wire to draw and the wiring is complete now if we go to the electrical rules checker and run the erc you'll see that pretty much there's no errors in terms of pins not being connected but I do have an issue here complaining about uh, pins or wire ends of connection grid this is a warning it's not an error but it has to do with the position of the wire so if I use the, uh, the pointer to select the segment of the wire and just move it on the grid like this and then let's see what happens if we rerun the check Okay, fixed. So it had to do with, uh, the issue here had to do with the fact that the wire was not exactly on the grid. It was on a segment of the grid, or a division of the grid, but not on the main grid line itself. That is because of the grid size that I selected. So there's another error here that has to do with the fact that the switch that we chose has two units, unit A and unit B, but I've only used up unit A and it's just telling me that unit B is unplaced. So this is something that I can ignore because I actually don't want to use unit B. So I'm just going to close the error checker window. And that's it with the wiring. We've now completed step four. We'll continue with step five to show you another feature of schematic design called nets.